Hello everybody, and welcome back to Elden Ring. And I have an announcement. And uh, I'm going to say that announcement at the end of the video, so please stick around to the end of the video to learn what I'm going to announce. But, um, let's figure out what we're going to do next in this. Uh... Let's see, I think the next thing I need to do is get the other half of this Dectus medallion. So, let's go go here and head over to Kaled. So which way is to Caleb this way? So yeah, I think I think we'll get this other half of the medallion. We'll try to make our way past the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Uh that's guarding the way. And, uh, if I... If... Alright. I hate fighting that thing. But, uh... If I can't do it in a couple attempts, I'm going to do the method I've been doing since I figured it out. Uh, which is poison mist. Sneak behind it, use poison mist. Generally takes care of it. It takes a it takes a bit of time, but it it, it does it does the job. a mariner. I'm not going to deal with you. I am also not going to deal with the NPC invader up here. Because I just don't feel like dealing with an invader at the moment. Okay, we're in hell. Which, I'm sure, if you've played Elden Ring before, you agree <laughs> to my uh, assessment of Kaled. Kaled is hell. In both landscape and difficulty. It's just all around awful. Okay, we need to go this way. Because we need to go to Fort Faroth. I think that's the name. Which is over here by a giant dragon. Cannot move. I think I got a dog's attention. Yep. God. I swear, those dogs... Those dogs and birds are absolutely awful to deal with. Oh, 
Okay. Here's the map. And Grail. And subsequently Fort Faroth. Should be up the way here. Spoil the dragons. Yeah, nope, and ignore, ignore the roaring. Here's Grail. Yeah, don't mind me. Just, uh, just want to get to this, uh, fort over here. Oh, gee, there's a lot of dragons over here. A lot of dragons that are sleeping. Okay. So, there we are. Here at Fort Faroth. Now to run through it. Only a little poison. Nothing, nothing to worry about. There's the other half. Okay. Now, let's see. Where should we go next? I mean, theoretically, we should probably go to... the Dectus Lift next, since uh, we just got both halves of the medallion. So... Let's go ahead and do that. Just make our way there. Main Academy Gate, because that's the best way to get there oh wait and there's I believe there's a seed at the end of this bridge too yeah I don't remember if I got this uh, last time we were here nope I didn't I see it there alright golden seed Now, we interact with the seal. Bellum Highway. There's a church up here. Somewhere. It should have a sacred tear inside of it. There it is. here and upgrade our flasks. There we 
go. And now to get up to the lift without attracting the attention of catapults. Just a straight shot to the lift. What is this? Dragon wound grease. All right. Okay, here we go. Up the grand lift of Dectus. Why is it raining inside? Oh well. I guess... There isn't really a roof to the lift. Yeah. Because this whole, this whole lift is just a big hole. So... I guess it shouldn't really be surprising that it was uh, raining in the lift. Yeah. Okay. Altus Plateau. Get another seed and the map for this area. Which should be up this way. Then I'll get like four more seeds in there. Okay, let's get this grace so we can easily teleport back here. There's the map. Okay. Now let's head over to enter the capital. Excuse me, come through. I 
there's a rune bear up here somewhere that I need to... Yep, there he is. Just knocking over trees like it's nothing. Just walking through them. Uh, wasn't expecting the flower to have its magic cast that far away. another map piece. <clears throat> Let's get this grace. Upgrade flasks if we can. There we go. And how much do I need to level up? 9,500. Okay. Oh yeah, and uh, in order to do my uh, poison mist cheese for the Draconic Tree Sentinel, I'm going to need 12 faith, so uh, if I need to resort to that, we'll uh, do a little bit of a grinding session, which you're not going to see, but figured I'd make it known. on the tree sentinel. First, we've got some archers to deal with. Fantastic. Okay.
Now then, time for tree sentinel. Yeah, if he's taking most of my most of my health in one hit. Yep. Yeah. I'm uh definitely not ready for this. So I'm going to get my runes back and run away. Hello, sir. Just take my stuff back. Something I need to get. It's the second bell bearing, which is around here. Actually, you know what? Uh, for this episode, why don't we uh, do some of the like caves I haven't done yet, like the uh, like all the tunnels and mines and stuff, and this is not where I need to be. But yeah, this is not where the sealed tunnel is. Still, tunnel is over on this side. <clears throat> so let's teleport there. Oh wait, isn't there a uh, sacred tear in this church as well? I know there is a. Uh, seal for casting incantations but seeing as I'm doing an intelligence build it's not really necessary for me but if there is a sacred tear I could use I'll gladly use it mm. yeah I don't think there is I think it was just the Golden Order seal. Okay. And down to the sealed tunnel.
there's the bell bearing. Okay. Let's get out of here. Give the bell bearing to the uh, to the shop. And then let's go back to Limgrave and see about uh, taking care of some of the mines and tunnels and catacombs. That'll be my grind session for uh, Draconic Tree Sentinel. Oh wait, did I talk to you already? You again? I thought you'd receive a summons to the Round Table. No, I guess not. We met at Stonevale. I'm glad to yep, see you here. Yep, I remember you. I have something for you. You helped me kill Godric. You Godric's grafting grounds. You defeated him. You should have it. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. Cool. Thank you. I actually ended up missing that on my very first uh, playthrough of Elden Ring. Okay. Let's see, do I have any runes to pop? Nah, I just got this one. Not really much. So, let's get my other Uchi Katana to plus eight. Okay, strength and armament. That. Oh, I still need to upgrade this staff. Okay. I'm gonna swap these around because I think determination would be a uh, a better ash of war to go with for right now. But I need to upgrade my staff. So let's see. Uh, how many? Uh, so I need nine. I just need four of these. And I don't know how much that 1900 will let me upgrade to the staff. Basically all the way I got it to. Cool. Okay. Limgrave. Where to first? Um, not, let's just go here first. Definitely get my mind up for more for more FP. So maybe I'll focus I'll focus mine for the next couple of levels before doing anything else. that marker. Limgrave Tunnels. Ooh, Golden Rune. That'll definitely help with some levels. <clears throat> I'm 
good thing about uh, these kind of mines is I can get a bunch of upgrade materials for free because they're usually in the walls. I don't remember what's here, though. Some here, though. Golden room. <clears throat> Somber smithing stone. Giant troll. There's some catacombs up this river, but I've got to fight Narius, and I don't know if Yura is going to be here. But I guess we'll see.
here he comes. There he is. Yeah, Yura, come over here. There we go. Reduvia. Right, let's do Patch's Cave over here. Patches, get up. Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of reason. True and true. <laughs> ah, well, what do you know? Now, how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> An innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? Sure. A true man of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered. Tarnished like you, only free spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. Ah, they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> don't forget to I'll be ready to wheel and Okay. I was hoping he'd have a shop available now. I guess not. Oh well. I did the thing. Now, let's get out of here. Press this grace, and head to the catacombs at the very end. Oh, and probably talk to uh, Yura here. He should be down here. Yeah, there he is. Destroying the fray, tarnished. Wow. You found Narius and survived. That alone deserves commendation. I'm Yura. I 
center of bloody fingers. Tarnished, held in thrall by cesspud. Zealots who stalk their own. I heard a wolf in the background. You're certain to face more of them. Just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay on blade. Right. Catacombs is here. I definitely don't remember what's here. But hey, it'll give me opportunity for upgrade materials for my ashes. Because I kind of need them. Got an imp head. Let's see what it does. Raises my intelligence by two, but it's heavy. <laughs> I think I'll leave it off. Oh my god. Imps. I hate I hate dealing with everything in this game. with Ghost Glove Ward, right? So that makes him quite a powerful summon. Or, well, powerful enough. Um, right, we did the Death Touched Catacombs up there. Hmm. Not sure what else is technically here. I could go for the Tibia Mariner here. Ah, well, being attacked by slimes. Okay. Mm. Let's go down here 
and do this mine or cave or whatever it is. Morn Tunnel. Ah, jeez, we got misbegotten to deal with. Normally a misbegotten in that uh, room there. Strange. Oh, there he is. Things. Creatures. A couple of you guys sitting. Ow. Ow. This the way? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Salted flesh. And a somber smithing stone. Okay, I think that's all it's here. Let's move on to the end of the mine, or close to the end.
bus here, so... Let's see what's down this hole. Just cotton. Okay. What's the boss here? Is it Crystallins? Or no. This is probably... A... Misbegotten. If I had to guess. Yep. Go to the round table hold. All right. And I think I will end the video here and get to my announcement, I promised. So, next week is Shadow of the Erd Tree. DLC releases. And next week, I'm not going to make a video. I'm not going to upload videos. But Friday, I am going to live stream essentially the start of my playthrough of Shadow of the Erd Tree. I don't know if I'll stream the entire thing. I might just stream like the first three or four hours or something like that but uh yeah next friday i'm gonna have a live stream of shadow of the earth tree so uh if you don't want to miss that please consider subscribing and clicking the notifications button and if you like the video please like the video and i will see you next time goodbye